What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Emma Lou. I haven't posted on my YouTube channel in a minute, and I apologize. I don't have a lot of time, unfortunately, lately. Um, waiting or trying to get to a point on YouTube when you get monetized so that you can focus fully on it is a lot, and it requires a lot of discipline and being solely focused on it, which sometimes it's really hard because right now you need money, okay? But anyways, just really quick, let's just talk about a couple of things. Party and Megan, that story is crazy. I feel like Party used the Megan hate train to be able to get some clout because I feel like if you have a problem with Megan, the people who don't like Megan will support you just to be petty. That's also, why. real quick, let's go ahead and quickly talk about Tamar and Tommy and JR. It's unfortunate that Tamar thinks she's winning when basically her whole situation with jr it was tragic to begin with it was disgusting to begin with because he literally broke up with you on social media right and you were pouring yourself hard out and especially mentioned the fact that when your car got robbed that you can't trust anybody right but because jr was hanging out with tommy and prior to that you and tommy were going back and forth but during uh, um the time where that whole situation with Krishan happened at your concert because you wanted to win, you got back with JR just because he was hanging out with Tommy. I think that's sad because you thought that going back to the man who embarrassed you was the way to go. And the fact that you are so bothered because why are you at your show promoting your album that's 10 years old? going oh y'all thought i let a crackhead take my man. Well girl, it's embarrassing because even though that crackhead might have took your man, she took him and dumped him. And gave them back to you. Y'all gotta stop being embarrassed by these men. Cause y'all. And last but not least, let's go ahead and cover Cardi B and Offset. So I don't understand. I don't understand. But it was Offset's birthday weekend. He was at the club. Supposedly Jade, the girl. If I'm wrong, y'all correct me. Jade is the girl that Cardi had jumped and actually had that whole lawsuit about. She was at the same location that Offset was having his party. So that means you went through all of that for that nigga to be in the same vicinity with that woman. But anyways, that's what I think, or I think I know. But anyways, so after that, she got online and she was saying, oh, you B-A-N, I've been holding you down, and da da da, -da and about his album. And I'm going to say, there's a YouTuber that I watched who had called that out that she was suppressing her album for Offset. And it seems like that's what happened. So you over here sitting back, relax, and let your man do whatever he want to do, and you did it, and now you're mad. That's why in a relationship there has to be compromise. Even though it could have been like, let's focus on your album first and then my album after, but you should have still tried to be, you let that, girl. <laughs> I don't know. Let me not speak before I say something wrong. But. but that's why you have to still focus on yourself. Put yourself first while being in a relationship. You have to learn to be 50-50. You have to make plans. It's possible that the plan was for them to focus on his album, like I said, and do hers after. But I don't know why she's so upset. Um, she didn't say that he was cheating. She just said he'd been moving real suspect-like. But I feel like she's going to get back with him. They're not going to get divorced for real. She said they were separating. And I feel like we get mad and in the moment say things and then after we calm down it's a whole different story so i wouldn't be surprised if they were hanging out again but that's just my quick recap of what happened this week i'll try this again next week just do quick little videos get my thoughts out because trying to make an actual a video with clips and everything is a lot unless y'all get me monetized then i'll do that but until then your girl need to make real money in the real world okay and we'll do them out